Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your past life reading for singles. And this is for retrograde specials. Now, let's take a look. What are the things that you need to learn from the past? Who's your soulmate? Where's your soulmate? Why is it that there are some things that you, you know, that keeps on recurring in your life? And what are the lessons that you need to, you know, to break from? If there is any karmic debt as well. <laughs> well, you're a very religious person in the past. You have talent in music and arts. There are some lessons and blessings. You live in fear. Actually, when, uh, whenever you think... Okay. Your soulmate is a earth sign. Okay. Actually, whenever you think and whenever you're afraid of something, you always hold your hand like that. Okay. Um... Actually, like this. Exactly like this. Okay? You hold your hand like that. Or your hands like that. Up to your chest. And I'll be pulling up more clarification cards for your past life. If there's a need. True love. The one that you're going to be with is actually the, your true love. Study okay. Speaker author infinite abundance. Okay. Alright. It seems like you've already found your soulmate. But you kind of um and huh. They pull out three more cards. All right. Okay, here. Anyway, you're a very religious person in the past, or you, you used to be a monk or a nun, and your love life right now in your present life is being affected by your past life phenomena or your past life karmic debts. You have talent in music and arts. Yeah, there are some lessons and blessings in life that you need to heed and that you need to be a little bit more thankful for because you have struggled and survived because of those things, you know, that your angels have guided you. But you're living in so much fear to the extent that you always act out in your defense. You're also an old soul and you have lived during the biblical times like BC times. Your uh, soulmate is someone that you've already, you know, that you got married to in the past. And this is an earth sign. You've had two kids together. And I feel like you used to be a Native American. And you made a promise to somebody. Okay, but unfortunately you did not fulfill your promise. And you also have some things about promises, you know, that people tell you. And when people don't keep their promises, it's such a big deal to you. It is because that it is, you know, what you have done in the past, in your past life. You also served as a knight in one of your past lives. That's why you're a little bit defensive right now. And you're so afraid of get, letting other people get close to you. And not to mention that you're also wearing a mask. Now, you have gone through such poverty in the past. Okay? That's why right now, if currently you are struggling in life or you are struggling with some of the things in, you know, in some aspects of your career or finances, it is because that you have gone through the same thing. And there is a lesson for you to learn here. You're also very religious that every time that there is something that happens in your life, you do pray. But, you know, it's like a blind faith. Okay? And you also have, a, you, you used to be a high priestess or high priest in your past life. And, you, you know, you, you came from a long line of... Um, 
in, uh, psychics or witches and you have the ability to heal people or you have that knack in you know creating some herbal treatments or some herbal medicine for a particular disease or illness and you just need to learn how to have some trust and faith in life now what you know what really happened in your past life is that <coughs> I feel like you were a very ambitious person and you aimed for a different kind of life. Now, the one that you married to is somebody who, you know, someone who is, let's say, above average kind of a person, but they always travel. And because of this, that you can't really contain your loneliness. I don't see any deception here, but it seems like, you know, you have some problems being alone okay and i also feel like you did not really take care of your of your kids because of the poverty that you have gone through and um what do you call this like you you lack be uh, um what do you call this thing um like you're not really that resourceful okay you expected for your husband to come back during at that time and then your two of your children already fell ill and you did not really do anything so what happened in the past is that you have lost your sanity okay when you lost your children over an illness that is unknown during at that time okay even calls before it's already unknown to some people but um this is what really happened to you you cannot really handle a very difficult situation you always expect people to pick up the pieces for you or to pick up your mess and you're you know even though you come out very strong because you wear you know your shield on the outside of your body but then on the inside there comes a vulnerable and a very soft person that is only waiting to be you know understood and the food and hunger the poverty that you have gone through in the past um right now this is i feel like some of you are still going through with this or you are born with this and you know there's a part of you who cannot really accept the reality that this is what's really going on so you need to you know to work a little bit more harder all right and um i feel like you held your soulmate accountable for what happened to your children and to you so there is a curse that actually happened and then you keep on blaming other people for your for your own demise but actually you know if you were only a little bit resourceful uh, sorry resourceful in the past that wouldn't have been happened or that won't you know uh that won't take place well and then when you and then when your husband actually came back from his trip or from his uh, you know journey i feel like he also left you because he um he felt like he you know why did you let things happen that way you are the mother so there is too much blaming you know in your past life and there's too much grievances garages and resentments you know that you know that it's it's really heavy you know in your past life and right now even even in your past even your present life right now that there is it's like there's too many um resentments and you don't want to address those reality that you just want to escape you know those things that you're so afraid of i also feel like you're you also have some issues with your family now you need to be a little bit more positive about your life about your romantic life and you need to keep an open mind because uh you're also very jealous and possessive and you're so afraid that other people will be taking away whatever that's yours and the one that you're going to be married to is the right one for you okay you just try to loosen up a bit with your control issues because this is what will be killing and suffocating your relationship you will also be taking off or you will be moving into a different place or a different city because you're you know the one that you're going to be ending up with belongs to this or you know and lives in another place you also need to learn how to express yourself instead of holding back and bottling up your feelings because you know when the when the relationship when the relationship gets ruined 
um you are the you are the only one who will be resenting big time and you have to learn from your past that your two kids you know they got sick because you did not really take care of them well and you don't know what to do so well you have you know the ability to heal other people or to you know to have a healing touch but you did not really explore that right within yourself and there's too much codependency you know this is also what happened in your past life that you have expected your husband to come back and to you know fix things up for you but unfortunately he's also you know he, he's out there busy working making money and you're the you're the only one with your with your kids so you are the one you're the only one who should you know find a way on how to uh you know find um, a bit of a like an emergency first aid thing and when you have called out your soulmate, the universe have given, you know, what you really need. So you need to be a little bit more thankful and contented. And you will be living or settling in another place. And you will only be with your one true love. Okay? You will be meeting this person around the winter. Or you've, I feel like you've already met your, you know, your, your soulmate. Uh, between fall and winter. Because I feel like they were also born during that time. It's an earth sign. More likely. Well, they were also born during that time. Be between December, January, November, something like that. Well, November, December is Sagittarius, I know. But eh, something like that. And they're very hardworking. They, they, they always travel. They're always away. They're not, you know, they're, they're not cheaters. But they're very in love with their work and they're very creative they are also known to their job a lot of people do respect them and they are very they're a man of their words but you know sometimes they are just too busy with their work so yeah the main lesson here is you need to be a little bit more independent you need to be a little bit more resourceful whenever you get yourself into trouble try to seek out for your own you know for your own light and uh, do not expect other people to pick you up whenever you stumble. So, yeah. And practice your own skills because you have some talent in music and art. You also need to study a little bit. And you are you're a little bit studious. You're protected. Um, you have the gift of oration. Okay, that when pe that when you talk, people do listen to you. But make sure that whatever you say is actually the truth. Okay, you also need to let go of some of the heavy grudges or the excess baggages that you're that you've been carrying in your, you know, in your uh, in your backpack. And you also need to seek for a spiritual teacher to guide you through the light. You you may also write a book um, about your experiences. Only you have. The key to your infinite abundance and you may also be a teacher of young kids because you're very fond of you know of kids and you love being out there in the nature and you don't even you know um the good thing here is you don't you're not that conscious okay to be out there in the sun or to have a dark skin or to have you know like whatever it is in your skin as long as you're happy you're out there in the nature you can feel the wind and you can enjoy the uh you know the sceneries and stuff like that as long as you enjoy it you don't really mind being out there in the nature all right so anyway that's it for you for this retrograde and for this month as sagittarius you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you